Hi, I wanted to go a little more deeply today into the importance of being connected to the body. We have so much information about being in the now, um, about being in the present moment. All of that is kind of at an Instagram high, I think, right now. And we are aware of that. But if we only are aware of, oh, I need to be in the now, then we're only getting half the story. The other half is how to be in the now, and it's the other piece that we need to be in place to actually live our lives as they are happening, to actually touch base with reality, to live in reality. Otherwise, we're living in ideas. As a human, as the human animal, our species has speech and we have the ability to communicate about ideas. And what's happened is that we have begun to live in a world of ideas and to become so disconnected from our bodies and thus from the present moment and from reality. And from that place, we are so gullible. We're so manipulatable. Is that a word? Because we're sold this thing, you should be in the now. If you're in this kind of spiritual community, you should be in the now. But we don't have any way to do that and to stay there. We're missing this whole other piece because we are so socialized from birth to disconnect with the sensations in our body and to thus be disconnected from the real, from what actually is happening. So when you hear be in the now, oh, okay, I'm going to be in the now, you just move to another idea of what being in the now is. So you're moving from being in your head to being in your head about not being in your head or about being in your head. It doesn't matter. It's just still this world of ideas. And until we come down into our bodies and inhabit them, we are not in the now. We are not doing what in the now is all about, which is about being actually in the flow of reality and living our lives. So that is why we are doing this course about senses. It's not to become, oh, just aware, like, oh, this is so interesting. I could echolocate if I wanted to, you know? It's because it's vitally important that we inhabit our bodies to be in reality. And without being in reality, we're actually not living our lives. So that's why we're doing this. That's why it's, it's so important and it's so exciting. And over the course of this course, you will start to feel yourself if you are really investing and spending the time to relearn your body, to relearn where we have numbed out, to re-inhabit those spaces that have become amputated in our head to our awareness. If you spend that time and invest in yourself what you will notice is you will start to become more and more alive. You will start to live in what is instead of the world of ideas. It's great to be able to talk about things, but there is actual experience and then there are thoughts and speech and ideas about the experience. And if we are only living up here in this part of it, we're actually missing the experience and not even knowing it. Because if we are unaware of all the sensations in our body, if we are unaware of this 54, these 54 senses that we actually are attuning to the world all around us, if we have numbed out from those, we are so going to be sold down the river. We are lost because those who understand that the more disconnected we are from our bodies, the more disconnected from our souls we are, um, the more disconnected from reality we are, because all of those go together, that we can be sold anything. We can be sold more and more ideas, and we won't even be aware of it. We won't even be aware that we're just replacing one idea with the next, and we're actually...
actually not in the reality of what is. So reconnecting with our bodies, re-inhabiting all of those senses that are alive and well in our bodies, we've just forgotten because we live up here and we don't practice them and we don't have an awareness of them. Reconnecting to that, not only will you feel yourself come alive and begin to actually live your life in the reality of now for real, this is the part that we've been missing, you guys. This is the part that we haven't gotten when we heard be in the now. Okay, how do we do that? We meditate. Meditate. Meditating is fantastic, but meditating is practice. And if you don't know what you're practicing for, you're missing the point. And in a sense, although meditation in itself has benefits, you're actually missing the bigger point, which is to be in connection with what is. Notice that your thoughts are thoughts. Notice we have ideas of things, but then to come down out of that and be in connection with what is and not live in this world of ideas. So if we do that, if we come down and we reconnect, we're not only becoming actually alive, we're not actually now, we're not just actually living our lives now. We are, we are completely protected then from charlatans and people trying to sell us things we don't need because those people who know that that disconnection equals disconnection from reality, this is disconnection from our bodies, from our senses, from our sensations, disconnects us from reality. It also disconnects us from our ground, and literally and metaphorically, and we literally can be sold like I said, just about anything because we don't know what we're feeling. We are not having a, having an, an experience of life. We're having an experience of our ideas about things. So I just wanted to reiterate that today and we will also go on and do our next sense. But I think we'll do that tomorrow since this is Father's Day if you're doing this real time with me. And happy Father's Day. If you have kids and you're a mom or a dad, just really connect with them and, and enjoy your kids today. And just be really present with them. And how do you be present? Be in your body. How do you do that? Pay attention to all the things that we've been talking about. How does that, how does, are you feeling a sense of gravity? Are you um, he, really hearing what they're saying? You know, are you really looking at them? Are you aware of the sense of colors? Are you aware of all of the senses that we've been talking about? Can you tune in and be in the sense of gravity while you're listening to your child tell you something? Or listening to your baby cry? Or just being with whoever you are today? And if that's yourself, that's also fantastic. Be aware of what you're actually experiencing in real life not just the ideas of what's there. All right, happy Father's Day. Have a wonderful one.